Intelligent system analytic computer is activated. All ISAC systems are confirmed online. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. Man Ultimate back on Tom Clancy's The Division. And yes, I am wearing Final Measure. I don't usually ever run Final Measure in this game, but I am now because I actually starting to really like Final Measure. And it's not the four piece, it is the six piece classified Final Measure build. Now it's all six pieces. You need all six pieces to unlock the classified gear set, like all six talents. Now I have pretty decent DPS. It's, it's this builds balance, which I really like. I'm tanky. As far as like exotic damage resilience as it goes, I have a decent amount of firearms and like I have 400k DPS, as you can see, and good skill power. So I wanted plenty of skill power for my build. Not complete full skill power either. I didn't want skill power where I can completely like spam heals. That's not the point. I still want to do some damage to elites and things, which I have in this build. So I'll show you guys this build and first off, show you the six, five, and six piece classified final measure. You know, the two, three, and four piece. Set bonus for five piece for classified. You get an extra 15% exotic damage resilience, 15% protection from elites. And basically, to sum it up for the six piece, at, uh, whatever grenade is thrown at you depends on the type of that grenade that you defuse. It grants your team that buff. So if you get hit by a synergy grenade, your weapon damage is increased for 20% for eight seconds. Honestly, eight seconds is really not that long as far as what I've seen. But once you defuse a grenade, you will see this icon above your group, each of your team members in your group, and that icon will be either your firearms, stamina, or electronics icon. So uh, you'll know what those mean if you see those above your heads of your group. So, but yeah, I'll show you the pieces. And again, this build is really effective in PVE. I haven't tried it in PVP yet, but it's, I'm sure it's gonna might do well in PVP. We'll see. But uh, yeah. Um, I really like skill power in Final Measure builds. I think it's really needed. It's, yeah, it's pretty great. And so again, like I get hit by grenades, I defuse them every eight, every like, eight seconds or something like that. Pretty um, pretty good. So it's every other grenade if you keep getting spammed. I get I get shot by a sticky bomb, guys. Mm, I don't get one shotted, and I can get heal up quickly. So it's pretty effective. I can. That's how I'm tanky as far as the exotic damage resilience. But yeah, it's really good, as you saw in the uh, first part of the video. Anyway, so, for my primary, mm -hmm. I have a Labway M4, 22% enemy or damage. That's for NPCs, that's why it's a PvE build. I like using Sarvel. Of course, it's good for PvP anyway. But 20, it does 21.7k uh, base damage. I use it with Fierce, Deadly, Destructive. Nothing that overpowered. It does fine for me, so. I use this M custom mm -hmm. M44 that I found recently. On my uh, DPS build for PvP, it does 160k base damage, which is really good. But for this build, obviously, it only does 132, and it has 168% headshot damage. It has harmful, deadly, and fer ferocious. And that's not the best talents in the world, but the base damage is really what does the trick as far as the sniper. So the sniper is really good for me anyway. Imagine if I had brutal in it. Oh man, it'd be pretty um, bad. I got Centurion. I'm missing a mod on there, but yeah, I'm using the Tyrion like always. All right, so uh, classified chest piece for final measure. I have 1922 firearms with 9% uh, exotic damage resilience, 9% skill haste, and a minor attribute which could be ammo capacity, but is it is actually increased kill XP. Simple, whatever. The mask, it's all rolled towards skill power, so I have. Uh, 1398 electronics with 9825 skill power with burn resistance. I really don't mind what the minor attribute will be. Mm -hmm. For the final measure knee pads, I have 1658 firearms 
the major attribute, 9% critical hit to damage. Burn resistance, damage to elites, 16%, and bleed resistance. So, the damage to elites really helps, honestly. So, I think I rerolled those recently, so I have to retest it. See, so, you know, do a little more damage to elites, but not a lot. Alright, backpack is also rolled toward skill power. So, I have 1382 electronics, 13326 skill power, and I rolled for ammo capacity on this backpack. So, it rolled decently for me. I knew what I was going after. Gloves. Mm -hmm. Therefore, assault rifle. Yeah, they have uh, 1377 firearms, 1250 assault rifle damage, 5.50% critical hit chance, and 16% critical hit damage. Those are fine gloves. I don't have a problem with them. I don't think I need any better ones, especially since they're classified. I was really happy to get all six pieces of my final measure. I was like, yes, let's try final measure out. It's doing well for me. I'm liking it. Anyway, the holster is de pretty damn decent. Of course, it's classified but has 1358 firearms 1310 stamina 1308 electronics had major attributes i rolled for a four percent crit chance to kind of help with the dps so yeah anyway that's the six pieces now my crit exotic damn resilience my crit chance is 23 percent not the best at all crit damage 80 percent headshot damage 203 more than enough in my opinion Damage to elites, 26%. That's what helps do the DPS in this build, as far as the elites. Uh, skill haze, 9%. I can work on that, maybe. Uh, Alright, let's see. I uh, missed something here. Sorry, survivability. My uh, protection from elites is 30%, which is really good. Exotic, exotic damage resilience. This is the big thing about this build. Is It's basically 50% crit hit. Oh my god, not a good chance. 50% exotic damage resilience, and that's why I don't get one shot with a sticky bomb. So it's really good. Like, like it's sad though to say this, but um, if I have th two team members next to me and a sticky bomb hits me, uh, they both go down, but I'm still up. It's, it's amazing, like, for the build, but not for my teammates. Of course not. Mm -hmm. See your teammates go down in the fight? Nah, no thanks. I just use my support station and get it right back up as fast as I can. And it can give me heals right after I get hit by a sticky bomb, so it's satisfying to not get one-shotted, so I, that's why I love this build. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's the stats for you guys, and let's see. Again, my f DPS is 399. Toughness, I don't need, just don't worry about it. Skill power is 180, which is plenty, and it's enough for my build. I inspect in electronics, so that's good. Overall, I enjoy this build, and it's definitely good in PvE, guys. You should try it if you don't have fun to merge your build, because... I'm telling you, like, it doesn't defuse every grenade, but it has come in handy many times already in 1.7. Anyway, guys, that is my build uh, for 6 piece Final Measure. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you later. Alright, peace out, Adrians. Leaving contaminated area.